Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Oopsters Ganshi here. So if you have a Nexus 5, you would think that tethering would be very easy. But if you're like me, you probably ran into an issue where you went to your settings, went to Purple Hotspot, you enabled the Wi-Fi Hotspot, and let's say on my tablet I'm already connected to the Nexus 5 internet right there. So I'm going to go over here and just search up a website. Let's go to uh, google.com. And look at that. It's just in a continuous load or even you might even get a sign on or it just doesn't load at all. And yet you are still tethering and it's physically connected to your device. So what gives? Well, here's the thing. Some Nexus 5 users, depending on what carrier you're on, for example, Sprint or T-Mobile, there is actually an extra step you have to do if you really want to get Wi-Fi tethering working for free without paying, you know, the whole subscription fee. Now, in order to get Wi-Fi tethering working, what you need to do is go into your settings database file and add a line to the database and then your tethering will be working. It's really simple, it sounds complicated, but trust me, it's really easy to do. Okay, so in order to edit a database, we're gonna be using an app called SQL Editor. Now this app is a paid app, but I think it's definitely worth it, and I guess if you really wanted to, there's other apps you could use, or even maybe transfer the file to your PC and open it up, but this is gonna be the easiest way to go about it. Secondly, we're also gonna use an app called Root Explorer. Now Root Explorer is also a paid app, but like I said, it's a great way to access your root files. And if you don't want to pay for Root Explorer, you can also use ES File Explorer because that also has a root functionality within it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is open up Root Explorer. When you open it up, you're going to be taken to the root of your Android device and you're also going to see storage. What you want to do is navigate to Data. Then in your Data folder, you want to go and go into another Data folder, Subdata. Navigate to com.android.provider.settings. So just go down, com.android, and we're almost closer, here we go. So com.android.provider.settings. Select that, go to databases, then you're gonna see settings.db. Now you could, in theory, you should be able to click and open it with the SQL editor, but that actually creates a force close. So what I like to do is actually tap and hold it go to open with, and then SQL database viewer. And that's the app that you purchased earlier, if you got that app. All right, so once inside this database, go to global, to the add button, you wanna add a value. Okay, so you wanna set the name to tether underscore DUN underscore required, and set the value to zero. Then hit save. It's gonna save it, and now reboot your device. Reboot and reboots. Okay. All right, now that our device has rebooted, this should work. So what I'm gonna do is go back up here to the settings. Let's go to more. Tethering and portable hotspot. I'm gonna enable portable Wi-Fi hotspot. All right, so it's enabled. Now on my tablet, I'm gonna go and connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot. Let's go over here in Nexus 5 internet, connect. Connecting and it's connected. Now let's go over here to Chrome. I'm gonna reload Google again, see if this works. And here we have it, google.com. So guys, this has been how to fix Wi-Fi tethering for Nexus 5. Like I said, depending on what carrier you're on, you, might, you may or may not have this issue. I use Sprint and this was an issue that I ran into. And I also hear from a lot of T-Mobile users that this is an issue that they run into as well. Now, a big thanks goes out to the original poster of this mod. I don't know who exactly, so whoever posted that, thanks, you helped us all. And like I said, it's just a really easy and quick thing to do, and it'll allow you to get free Wi-Fi tethering. So guys, if this helped you, definitely give it a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.